Meet Pepper, a horse, a friend, a companion, and a therapist. And as unusual as it may be to dub a horse as a therapist, therapy is exactly what we are seeing here. For each of these riders are here for personal development and to be challenged in a caring and fun way, suited to learning with disabilities. This is Brooklyn, and she has been with Pepper in the Arrington Therapeutic Riding Association's program for two years now. Okay, walk on. I like the horse. It looks like a Pepper speck because it's black and has a white strip down its nose. Brooklyn was born with Sturge Weber syndrome and to escape the associated seizures underwent surgery at a very young age. So at 16 months of age she had to go in for brain surgery which left half of her one side of her body um, kind of like a very very weak and like almost a paralyzed state. Brooklyn's known her own challenges all her life so when asked why she comes out here to Lanceville's Pyramid Stables she overlooks any therapeutic benefits and puts it simply. It's cool because I get to ride a horse. In school, the other kids are talking about sports and what they do, and Brooklyn can now say, hey, I ride horses. I, you know, I'm, I'm right in there with everybody else riding the horses and doing a sport, doing something that, you know, she just, she really loves. It gives them an opportunity to, to uh, get on the backs of the horses and they sort of become one with the horse. And the horse, as I say, has been proven over uh, many years that uh, it does provide a ther therapeutic uh, benefit to the uh, riders. That benefit is apparent in the smiles of the riders here, but the program offers more than just confidence building, there are physical benefits as well. Physical disabilities get uh, passive exercise from the movement of the horse. They also learn to balance on the horse with their uh, movements and circles and stopping and going. As a parent, this is just amazing that she's able to get into something like this and have the proper attention on her that she needs. That attention has helped Brooklyn see some remarkable physical improvement. Her body is now working together instead of separate sides and uh, it's really strengthened up all of her muscles. It's a great pleasure to see that her balance and strength has improved considerably. She was uh, less courageous when she started than she is now. She's become much more courageous about trotting. Well trotting was kind of hard but then she um, taught me how to sit and do the right thing so now it's kind of easier. The Arrington Therapeutic Riding Association is always looking for volunteers and donations. And for children and adults that could benefit from riding sessions, there is a wait list. More information is available at www.etra.ca. I bet you the worst part is when it's over. Yes. In Lanceville, I'm Derek Johnstone.